A moment of victory for Libyan government forces and another setback for warlord Khalifa Haftar's fighters. Officials in Tripoli say their forces have taken back Al Wattiya Air Base near Tunisia's border. It has been under Haftar's control since 2014. The base is within 50 kilometers of three towns, Zintan, Zawara and Asa. Its location had made it difficult for government forces to find a secure area where they launched ground and air strikes to retake the base in early May. The fighting resulted in heavy losses on both sides. The military says the turning point came when it destroyed at least two of Haftar's Russian-made air defense systems. It's a game changer in terms of the last uh, year um, of Khalifa Haftar's offensive um, from, uh, on Tripoli. And I think in that sense, um, we have to understand how it's changed the military calculus now. Um, Haftar had imported um, two uh, um, Russian air defense systems there in recent days um, in order to safeguard it. And that tells you the value uh, of that asset to Khalifa Haftar. They'd, they'd fought bitterly uh, over this asset since 2015, in fact, since the first civil war that was sparked by Khalifa Haftar in 2014. Now, it's a major development because it really alters the way in which Haftar can uh, uh, continue his offensive on Tripoli. Haftar took control of Al Wattiya Air Base in 2014. That's when he called on Libyans to rise up against the UN recognized government in Tripoli. Since then, he's used it for his headquarters for his forces in Western Libya. Haftar has been launching strikes there since April 2019 to support his offensive to seize control of the capital. An offensive that's killed more than a thousand people. Haftar continues to launch strikes on Tripoli and its Matiga airport, only eight kilometers east of the city. But he no longer has any air bases in the west, while he still controls large swathes of land and oil fields across eastern and southern Libya. But analysts say the recapturing of Al Wattiya Air Base may tip the balance of power in the government's favour, since it no longer has to defend the West and can focus on the capital. Laura Bowden Manley, Al Jazeera.